Hey Congress, this is Matthew Mabry, and I wanted to show you some of what I've been doing with Desire to Learn since I got a flip classroom. So, one of the most important things that I had to figure out was how, was how I was going to set up my class on Desire to Learn. And so, let me show you how I did it. Doesn't mean it's how you had to do it, but it's how it made sense for me. So, one of the things I did is I'm annoyed with this huge section of courses, so I went and I clicked on the orange pin to bring the courses I use most often up to the top and especially the one I'm using the most is my science course. To start organizing my course, what I did is I went to content and I made a module for the current unit I'm in. So I clicked here and I type unit three properties. Boom. And you can see it's right here. And if you do this and you decide you don't like the module you just created, you can come up here, click the the little carrot, click delete module, click yes, permanently delete, now it's gone. Let me show you what I did though. So I created a unit 3 um, module for my unit called properties and then I put my first learning goal as a sub module right here. So I typed LG 3.1 blah blah blah. Now when I type it like this it looks like it's on the same level as that whole unit but if you left click here and drag you put it inside there and see now it's inside here and if I want this learning goal to be higher or lower than this one I can just click and now it is underneath if I have that gray line or if I click here and put it inside it's now created embedded within or if I realize I don't want a blah 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 learning goal I go up here to the carrot I click delete say permanently delete and now it's permanently gone so let's go back. I have my unit. Click my unit. I have my first learning goal. Click my learning goal. And then I made all of these sub-modules. These are the activities, the instructional activities I'm doing within my unit. I started off with a pre-survey and then a first quarter reflection. Um, took some notes, did a stations activity, did a Google Doc assignment, and next week we're going to do a density demo. And each one of these is a um, sub-module within that module. Now. The reason why I did this is, for instance, this activity, this properties of materials activity, if I click on it, oh, nope, not this one, I'm sorry, my Google Doc activity, you can see that when I created this sub-module, it shows up over here and I have all these things inside it. So how I did that was I clicked New and I started adding stuff to it. And that's how, for this assignment, my kids can go around and they can click on all these different activities. And for me, this is what made the most sense um, to set up my courses, was I start with a module for my unit, and then a sub-module for my learning goal, and then I made sub-modules for every activity. And then when I click on the sub-module over here, I can add either just one file or here. That's my note sheet, but the videos that my kids watch to take the notes, or maybe it's, again, just a Word doc or here um, it's different Google documents that my kids will, kids will click on and then they do the assignment um, on the screen. So that's my first um, hot tip on how to use Desire to Learn is learn how to set stuff up in modules that makes sense to you in your course. Um, for my next video I want to show you guys an easier way to navigate to that content once you create it.